Hey guys, uh, Jason from Nextpack at our hackathon. I'm here with Team Benzene, uh, John, Mike, and D, and they're building uh, a drone off controlled by the Nextpack platform. Can you guys tell us a bit about your project? So our project idea was we had a look at the modular platform that Nextpack offers and thought that makes a fantastic platform for being able to do like sensor packages. Sure. And so we were thinking, you know, it means that you can, if you can get the telemetry data out of the drone to then match that up to any sensor data, then we can actually swap out the sensors for whatever application you actually need. And, you know, so you can adapt it for weather applications, adapt it for disaster relief. Yeah. Yeah. So that sounds, uh, that sounds extremely useful in the real world. So you essentially take existing platform technology of a flying contraption mm -hmm. and adapt it with a whole bunch of sensors to interact with the, with the mm -hmm. real world. Mm -hmm. I see this 3D printer going, going on in the back, and what, what's that all about, and what is, what is it doing? Yeah, exactly. We, um, it's just basically for rapid prototyping. So what we're trying to do is make it the process as easy as possible. So essentially what we're doing is adapting a, an adapt, uh, a module so that we can attach the next pack, pack, pack platform to the drone. Um, but we need to quickly prototype this, and we do a bit of design. Uh, we try and fit it to the drone and make modifications as we need to. Can, can we have a look at some of the pieces that you've printed and get an idea of how, how it connects up and adapts up? So uh, what we're seeing here is uh, actually this was one of the first prototypes of uh, the adapter piece, which is actually mounting onto the gimbal plate. So rather than actually uh, making a whole new piece, piece, piece to uh, replace on the drone, we're trying to be clever and just I have a piece that snaps onto the, the gimbal plate so we don't have to do anything extra. And then you place some modules on, on the end? Yeah, and ideally this will be 3D printed as well, so anyone who wants to do this can uh, just print their own. Okay, so you're really going for the aerial platform play with, with Nextpack as, as for the sensing component? Yeah. Yeah, no, it sounds exciting, guys. So let's talk about some practical use cases. Uh, we all know that through the consumer markets, drones have been proliferating all over the toy shops and so forth. You guys look like you've got actual use case and business and corporate requirements that you can achieve with this drone technology paired with some next pack. So what are some of the use cases that you guys have thought of that um, we'd like to hear about? So the thing is that the, the next pack modules, there's already like a temperature and humidity module as well as an air quality sensor. So already at that point, you can actually start to do something in the realm of sort of citizen science, actually get people involved with putting this onto their own drones and flying it around and contributing to a larger scale project. But like a whole ecosystem yes. of information collection and, and, and yeah. analysis. But then of course you've also got the more traditional uh, sort of industrial and commercial applications where if you're wanting to do basically spatially referenced mapping of a, you know, sort of some of the monitoring, say radiation monitoring or chemical contamination, then you'd be able to do that by flying over an area, like pre-prescribed area, possibly on a daily basis even, and actually being able to record this and see how that's changing over time. And, uh, and it's interesting you bring that up because we, we have a company in Russia that is actually building a, a radiation sensor or, or a Geiger counter. Uh, so, uh, and Mike, I see what you have in your hand is, is what we call our battery pack, which is not a phone case, but it plugs in the same sorts of modules. Uh, how do you see this fitting into your drone technology? So yes, we think this is probably an ideal size, of course. We're trying to minimise the payload because if you minimise the payload, then you maximise the flight time as well. So um, ideally, what we're trying to do is make a, a case which will fit in under here, roughly at this position on the drone, on this particular drone, but potentially we could make a, a more generic case to fit to other commodity drones as well. This is obviously a higher end uh, performance vehicle. Um, but you could potentially use some of the cheaper variants as well. Sure, sure. Sounds very exciting, guys. Looking forward to the first test flight. <laughs> yeah, we are too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.